CDT, day 135. Walking the road out of Anaconda with a full belly. CDT, day 136. Can't believe I'm still sharing water with cows this far north. <laughs> I'm so tired. Sometimes I feel like I'm sleepwalking. CDT, day 137. The last couple days, the terrain has been pretty easy for the CDT, but I'm just feeling the cumulative exhaustion and feeling pretty sore and stiff. But about 21 miles to the highway today, and we're gonna do a really quick stop into Helena and then get out the next morning. We got some trail magic. Sodas. Thank you so much, mystery trail angel. CDT day, I'm not even sure anymore. How many through hikers does it take to fit three backpacks in a Tesla? I think just Google. And this is my buddy Zippy Morocco. We hiked some of the PCT together. He just got off his second AT through hike. Awesome guy, makes a lot of his own gear and came to Trail Magic us. Oh, it fits. <laughs> this video is not sponsored by Tesla or associated with Tesla Motor Corporation. Back on trail and it's so hot. I've been racing winter for the last 800 miles and now there's a heat wave and it's 90 degrees <laughs> and I'm carrying five days of food and all my cold weather gear so yeah not ideal. CDT day 139 it is September 1st. I can't believe I've been out here since April 15th. I really did not expect to be in such hot and dry cow country this far north. So this is a spring that's been piped for cows and that is disgusting but luckily there's a little bit of a trickle here and I was able to fill up three liters in about 15 minutes, but it's decent water, so. CDT, day 140. I am exhausted this morning, but that is an incredible sunrise. It's going to be so weird to go back to using a full-size toothbrush when I get home. CDT, day 141. This heat wave is serious, man. I am worn out.
I'm so hungry and tired. I just looked down and I could have sworn I saw a quesadilla, but it was just a big flat rock. <laughs> I'm sitting here in the shade, sweating, and my heat rash is back. It's so hot. Man, today was one of the toughest days. I've had in a while. And the last thing you want to do after walking 25 miles with 6,000 feet of elevation gain is walk another half mile to get water. But I'm thirsty. <laughs> CDT, day 142. Not feeling very good today, but got a hike. Man, I am feeling awful today. I'm pretty sure I've got a little minor stomach bug or a minor cold or something. I just have no energy and I'm hiking like half my normal speed. Uh, if I was home, I would like call out from work and just rest up, but I don't have that option because I'm 50 miles from town. But I've been through worse sicknesses in the backcountry and I'll be fine, I know I can make it. I just might be doing a little night hiking to make the miles with my slow pace. I'm feeling a little bit better cooled off and looks like I'll make it to camp right before dark. <laughs> CDT, day 143. Feeling mostly better today. Pretty sure I just had a little stomach thing and it's actually really cold so i don't know if the heat wave broke or it's just this valley that i'm in i guess i'll find out later i've seen like four piles of bear scat today you can see the huckleberries that it's been eating here's some more So we're doing a little off trail walking. We have to walk a couple miles down this road and then we're gonna hitch into Augusta and get some real food. Got a quick hitch into town and we can see that there's definitely something burning. And that smoke does not look good. We made it to the Buckhorn Bar in Augusta. <laughs> yeah.